everyone and welcome to the Muse. I'm Gabby. I'm Liza. And I'm Risa. Yes, and it is so fabulous to have all of you ladies here, to have everyone here. So, what I would love to talk about is what we did over the weekend. I will start. I didn't do diddly squat. I sat around and watched The Office. So I was sat around and watched The Office. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, definitely nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong yeah. with that at all. That's uh, not so boring. <laughs> It is not boring at all. I actually, I, I would say yes, I've mostly spent the weekend on the couch, but I am actually um, training my dog right now, Raven. We're in training classes. She's finally getting used to her crate. But more than that, I want to know what Liza has been up to this weekend. I got engaged this weekend. Yay! She got engaged. Yay! <laughs> so let's talk about that. I, I've been dating my now fiance um, for three years. And he took me to a place where we met. We met at an audition at a hotel. Um, and at this audition, it was for the Polar Express. And, and uh, he took me in and had a big letter. And on this letter, it was through the years, what he loves about a relationship and why he loves our relationship. And he told me to read it out loud in this convention center and I got to Dear Liza and started bawling my eyes out. Oh my Didn't even pe make it past Dear Liza. I no, I, was like, I, I, I read it I was like, Dear Liza, and I started crying. And I said, do I have to read it out loud? Because I can't, I, I, yeah. I honestly cannot read it out loud right now. And um, I, it was 2018, 2019, 2020, and then he goes, oh wait, I have one more letter, and he pulls out the letter, and it said, uh, Austin asks Liza a very important question, and I turned around, and he was on one knee, oh, and God. it was, it was really cute, and of course, like, he picked out our, he planned it to a T, he picked out our outfits that we met each other in. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, for us to wear that day. That's awesome. And, and it just so happened to be right after I got a manicure. Yes. So, <laughs> so it was perfect timing. <laughs> He knew because I told him before. Yeah. I was like, if if you ever propose to me, you better make sure that my nails are done because I don't want some janky nails in my engagement photo. Fair. <laughs> Just saying. Yes. Just saying. That so. Is awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome you. Welcome to the I Married know. Ladies Club. I know. Right? <laughs> Trust me, honey. It ain't as cracked up as Enjoy your time being engaged. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy all of that. Enjoy yes. the planning. Enjoy the stress. I enjoy enjoy the cake tasting. <laughs> enjoy yes. the cake tasting. Cake. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So, all right. So we love we love your weekend. That's amazing. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> that, that sounds awesome. Um, gosh, I don't even know how to follow this up. That's I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Right? Like, how do you uh, what you know? I will say one thing about um, being engaged during this time. Uh, spring weddings. So let's yeah. talk about some spring things, Ooh, right? Yes. Okay. So let's talk about um, the local to do's here in spring in uh, Orlando. Um, if you're not in Orlando, of course, definitely travel yes. if you can, if you're able to. <laughs> One of the best things that Orlando has downtown to offer right now is. Um, Fall, spring fiesta. Fall fiesta. Fall fiesta, spring fiesta. Fall fiesta. They, they do it twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called again? Fiesta in the Park. Thank you. There it is. Fiesta in the Park. <laughs> yeah. They do a fall fiesta as well, but it is a huge event that goes on downtown. It is, a, it is a party. It's so <laughs> much fun. Um, it goes around Lake Eola. It's over 600 artists, and who knows? I mean, depending on what happens this year, if there's going to be actually that many, yeah. it would be amazing yeah. if there's even half that many because yes. it really does bring all the local makers out, all the local performers, um, all the local uh, food makers as well. So if you love food and you mm -hmm. love um, buying local, I know yes. you love buying local. Oh, like a lot of your jewelry and stuff is usually made local. Uh, you make local. Yes, exactly. <laughs> local yes. maker as well. So yeah, it's a lot of fun if you get a chance to go out. And the best part is it is free. It's free to go. Obviously, you know, you have to pay to park for the most part. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for whatever you buy. But you're also, um, you know, helping people out and buying local at the same yes. time. So that's a lot of fun. So you guys can let us know out there what you're planning to do for, um, you know, this uh, 
spring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this spring season. What's your spring season plans, you know? I want to know, you know, because that's, like, one of my Easter favorite things. Hunting. Easter egg hunting? Yeah, uh, I haven't done that in forever. No, I like, I won't lie, I do like going into Lou Gardens and seeing the flowers. Oh, yeah. Lou Gardens. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's so beautiful. And it's not really expensive. Because I know cost is a thing that's extremely important for people. So it's like, what, maybe six bucks? Yeah, it's, not, it's really not that yeah, much. Yeah. expensive, yeah. Yeah, and for they, a whole day. I know. And you just walk around. <laughs> And you see all that awesomeness. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is beautiful to walk yeah, around. Yeah, and so two dollars so will get you some plastic eggs and some cheap candy from yeah. the Dollar Tree, <laughs> and you can just throw them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Easter egg hunting. <laughs> That's fun. Yes, that is fun. I do. I, I, I love like, that idea. I like to make it more adult, and I put this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh my god. In the, in the um, and then just have mm -hmm. all the adults go around. Look for the Easter eggs. There's yeah. something cool in there. <laughs> yeah. My grandma used to put like little dollars in eggs when we were little yes. kids. Oh, that was you made so money much fun. Yes. I'm like, yeah, thanks for the chocolate, but I would like that dollar bill, please. Yeah. <laughs> you want the chocolate or yeah. the money? Like, I both. want them. Yeah, just give me both. I want both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Adult exactly. Easter egg hunt. That's an awesome idea. You should do that. Yeah. I want to do that. <laughs> that would be fun. And then, you know, just up the ante and put chocolate and money in mm -hmm. it. And then it's like, it's perfect. Or those little teeny fireball things. Yes, yes. Little glasses. Little glasses. And then you just put them in there and you're like, what's this? Like, it's an adult Easter egg. Adult mm -hmm. Easter egg. Huh? And, <laughs> about it. Yeah. And that's a great thing that you can do too within your friends that doesn't mm -hmm. always like, you know, involve going out into the public. Yeah. You can just do it like with your friends uh -huh. in the park and everybody kind of like, if everybody brought like six eggs or something yep. and there's six of us, you know, then that's, oh. I don't even know how many, I don't do math, so... <laughs> <laughs> I love I don't do that. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. I love congratulations again. Yeah. Thank you. I just, we can't say it. I'm <laughs> so excited for you. And, you know, we'll be here if you need any assistance with, you know, Always. anything at all. Yes. I, yes. If you need us to throw eggs at your wedding. Please. In the yard. I don't Please, know. Please, yeah. The, the ones with the money in it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Yeah. So, Speaking of volunteers, it's National Volunteer Week! Yay! 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 A round of applause to all of those awesome volunteers. Yes. Um, speaking of Volunteer Week, there are all different types of places to volunteer at. We've got the Second Harvest Food Bank, and I saw, that was really neat, on their site, that you can actually do a virtual food drive. So, especially right now in the times that we're in, mm -hmm. so this way you can do your part and be like giving and everything, but do it from the safety of your home, yes. which I think is really awesome. And $10 feeds 40 families, oh, wow. so wow. that's very little yeah. money to feed so many people, and I just think that that's really awesome. Yes. And then also, there is a cast member pantry for for for. for I can't say that word. <laughs> four load. There we go. For four load <laughs> Disney cast members. Um, and it's actually from a Disney cast member. She actually created this cast member pantry. Nice. And it gives back to those that don't have a job now. Yeah. So, And that's really that's awesome. awesome. That and cool. I'm actually... Uh, volunteering at this company called Simply Amazing mm -hmm. and they do uh, care boxes they're like craft boxes you put all these different types of arts and crafts and supplies in these boxes and you give them to uh, children that are in uh, less fortunate housing mm -hmm. so it's really cool because it helps awesome. create or helps them with their creativity mm -hmm. you know and I just think that that's really cool so yeah. that like you get a help inspire these kids and think outside the box yeah. and mm -hmm. give them a little bit of light in something that's not so light yeah. worthy right. light giving situation mm -hmm. and scenario so i just think that that's really cool and yeah. uh you can go to simplyamazing.org to see more about cool. about that fun little area so that is amazing yeah. i love that wow so do you volunteer anywhere or Oh. Have you volunteered in the past or like, you know, like, what's your volunteer choice? I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not much of a physical get out there and volunteer. I'm what somebody awesomely put online. I'm a paymaster. So if you tell me you need money, I give you money. I give you money so that you can do 
whatever it is you need to do, such as the cast member food bank mm. or anything like that nature. Yeah. Yeah, they even have like an Amazon wish list, so you can just go oh, click, open, okay. and then exactly. done. You know, so yeah. that's really cool. But too. that's still important. Yeah, that's yeah. you know, incredibly. That's important. still a huge part yeah. of volunteering. Yeah, is being able to give back to people, you know, and that yeah. helps them being able to afford the things that you know they can help others with. Yeah. And so. that's the great thing about volunteering, though, is that you've got all different avenues. To you've got your time, you've got mm. your money that you yes. can buy. Volunteer. You've got your talent that you can volunteer with. Right. It's simply like just sharing a Facebook post or right. page. Yeah. That so that's right. volunteering, and yeah. it takes two seconds of your time. Yeah. You know, yeah. to just get the awareness out. Right. Yeah. So I'm glad that you brought that up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. For sure. It's a great, great thing to do. Mm-hmm. I am definitely one of the um, more like entertainer volunteers, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I work with the Barber Fund a lot and I do volunteering with them. I work actually with the Comedy Queens, um, which comes out of the Parliament House. Yeah. Which is, you know, RIP to the Parliament House, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, the, the Queens live on and the Comedy Queens yes. live on and, and the, the Barber Fund lives on. And, and once or well, we used to do it twice a year. Uh, we would get together and do just a big, wild, stupid, silly drag show, yeah. but to raise money for the Barber Fund. And that was like one of my absolute favorite things to do. Oh. And I've definitely missed doing that, but any moment that I get to be able to donate my time to even just be on stage to organize something yeah. or, per- or perform myself, you know, that's the, I feel like that's the very least that, that sometimes you can do is even just to be there to um, help mm-hmm. collect money sometimes yep. is just the tiniest things you can do is very important. So what is what is the Barber Fund? Because I'm not sure. Uh, the, the, the BarberFund.org is a local charity that helps people living with cancer. Um, okay. So uh, you know, and it's everything from you know people that can't afford their medication or their chemo, or even just a ride to the doctor yeah. sometimes, or you know, you donate so that, yep. you know, you give them money so that they can be able to afford groceries Three. for somebody that's in need. So yeah. it's just a little bit of everything. And there's so many wonderful uh, charities out there that are similar to the Barber Fund yeah. that help people that are struggling, especially in these times right now. And like you said, like furloughed Disney employees that just need the extra assistance right now. It's, it is really important to just help out your own community. Yeah. So, yeah. I agree. <sighs> So, um, so on that note, um, in addition to Volunteer Week, is it Volunteer Week or Volunteer Month? Volunteer Week. Volunteer Week. Ooh. The volunteer every day of every week yes. of every year. <laughs> April 18th through the 24th. Yes. Awesome. Specifics. Wonderful. Yes. Um, so, I loved talking about the Volunteer Week. That's one of my favorite things to do. And, um, you know, going over these wonderful weeks and months, April is Stress Awareness Month. So, how are you ladies feeling? Feeling good? Feeling stressed? Yes. Getting stressed out? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes! Absolutely. I know, I know. <laughs> One thing that people do to um, alleviate stress is volunteering, you know, because it makes them feel good for their souls. Um, so, you know, one thing I want, want to talk about a little bit when we're talking about Stress Awareness Month is that stress really can, you know, sneak up on you. And I know we all collectively, yes. all of us, all of you, everybody went through um, a little bit of stress, just a little bit, over the last year. <laughs> and, you know, how you take care of yourselves during that time. So we want to take a little moment to just kind of talk about that because for some people it is, um, you know, volunteering and performing and even giving. But unfortunately during these times we weren't able to do that like we normally are. So how do you take care of yourself and how do you take care of yourself during these times? So I kind of looked up a a few little things that we could do and, um, you know, one of the big things is recognizing the signs of stress. Like, do you actually take a moment to recognize? Because I realize that sometimes it's it's being overly hyper and feeling yeah. like you need to do a lot at one time. Mm-hmm. That's a sign of stress, whether you recognize it or not. Even like, I, I admit it, I'm that person. I'll snap on people when I'm not meaning to because yes. I'm like so stressed out you know and then I and then you have to take a step back and you put yourself into almost a spiral because then you feel bad about the way you treated the other person how you made them feel how you're feeling inside so how do you step away from that you know like what do you do to your you know to for yourself I used to love to take bubble baths and then my house that I'm renting 
has a water heater issue. So now I can't oh. take a hot bath. So then I'm like, what Same do I do girl. now? Right? Exactly. So you have to take a step back and um, meditation is a big one. Yep. Learning how to relax, you know, whether it's eating a piece of chocolate, you deserve that chocolate. Okay. <laughs> don't tell yourself that you don't let yourself enjoy that moment. Um, what about you? Is there any other ways that you like to like alleviate your stress when you recognize that it's happening? So before I hurt my back, I hurt my back back in like oh, 2017, no. I used to be an avid runner. Mm -hmm. I would run all the time and I loved it. It just yeah. gave me so much energy and mm -hmm. it was healthy yeah. and um, I can't do that anymore because oh. it hurts my back even more. So says my doctor. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to find a new avenue that doesn't hurt my back mm -hmm. quite as much. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to work out, mm -hmm. but I'm still trying to find where right. yeah. the the line is that I can tow and then not hurt myself. Yeah. So um, I'm still trying to figure that out, honestly. Yeah. honestly. It's a journey for it me. Um, so one of these days I'll figure it out mm -hmm. and then I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like getting through everywhere. stress is a journey. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it is. And it's a journey for everybody because it may have been running, but I don't know, who knows, maybe like it'll be knitting by the end of the yeah. year. You'll find something else that's like active. If you love being active, maybe for you that stress relief is active. I love eating and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always the most healthy thing if you love eating like I do, but like it's sometimes that moment of just being like, I'm going to take myself out to a nice dinner yeah. to get away from everything yeah. and not thinking about the day or what happened or what, you know, what happened with your job or your family. And yeah. what about you? Any particular ways you went to? Yes. When you said eating and drinking, <laughs> I was like, yes, that, that's what it is. But now, to be honest with you, it has become dancing. So I oh. kick everyone out of my house I and love I'm that. like, leave. And so I have the whole house to myself. Mm -hmm. I'll crank up my stereo and I will just... Go. Dance out. Yes, I will just dance it out. Heck, I don't... you've got everybody out. Now yeah. you can just dance it <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> just lines just be like, yeah. yeah. You know, like a waving arm inflatable tooth guy. Yes. And the <laughs> Gabby Man. That's right, the Gabby Man. <laughs> and that's, that's what I do now, which has become extremely helpful because you're right. Um, I was noticing that I was snapping on people. I was getting mm. extremely irritable. Mm -hmm. And you know that feeling when you're irritable. It's just like it's something nagging. So that's when you get the chance to go, hey, I need to do something about this. And exactly, you choose some kind of exercise, you know, eating, drinking, or you, <laughs> or you go dancing. And that, I used to do that too mm -hmm. when, you know, outside was allowed. Right. And now, not so much. So now I just do it in my house. Some kind of dance parties. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think finding uh, positive ways and ways to do something for yourself that you love. Although, yes, I do love eating and drinking, but I will say, like, you know, when, uh, especially when we were not leaving our houses often, yeah. one of the things that I found a huge joy in was cooking. Um, yeah. And I found that to be a big stress reliever for me. Even chopping vegetables, it's like, my husband got me, a, <laughs> my husband got me, like, a julienne thing, which I oh, love. I love that thing. But nothing makes me more happy than literally sitting down with, a, you know, my chopping board and my knife set and just going to town. And just being like, like, Chop all these veggies up, yeah. you know, <laughs> and then making something special, which in turn kind of like I love nourishing other people, you know. Mm. So being able to feed him and then he'd be like, "Do you like that?" Yes, you don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of love, yeah. <laughs> not stress. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Like one of the things that when I started looking into, um, you know, stress awareness is also being able to recognize when it's okay to ask for help. Yeah. to literally just say to your friend like hey I'm sorry I snapped but I was going through a stressful day mm -hmm. so let's do you want to just like talk literally let's talk yeah it doesn't have to be about anything we can talk about Netflix we can talk yes. about something that just gets your mind off of it you know if you're recognizing that your friend may be feeling that way giving them a safe space uh, and a place to just be comfortable yep. and say let's just get get your mind off of it so yeah. sometimes that's, I feel like that's really what we all yeah. kind of need a little bit you know, it's like, hey, let's go take a walk together. Yes. You know, let's go take the dog out or, you know, I don't know. There's just so many ways, you know, and you guys can tell us what your favorite ways to relieve stress are, be they uh, naughty or nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely want to, you know, make sure that you guys are staying healthy and strong um, because we're all feeling this in some way. We're, yeah. we're, we're all, we're all here together on this one. So. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, I think, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a little less stressed. Yes. All right, just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to um, the next segment that I'm super excited about. Josephine Baker. Yes. She is just the most wonderful woman. She's one of my very big influences. A little a couple unlittle known, unlittle known, little unknown. There we go. Facts about Josephine Baker. She was born free to Josephine McDonald. Hmm. Yeah, everyone just thinks her name was automatically Baker. No, it was Josephine McDonald in St. Louis, Missouri. She became famous when she did her famous banana dance in 1927. Everybody knows that dance. Mm -hmm. There are pictures of me doing that dance, and they're like, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, she danced this dance in France at the Folie de Jeu, and it is, that dance has been a huge symbol of the jazz age, like the Renaissance, the Harlem Renaissance, that was just a big thing. A lot of people don't realize about Josephine is that she, I consider her the OG expat. What is that? She, I don't know why, it's like, what's that? Yep. <laughs> she is the OG expat, which means she renounced her American citizenship and moved and became a citizen of Paris, France. She decided she was done she, because at that time she refused to also perform for segregated audiences. If the audience was segregated, she would not perform. So basically, whoever came in and said, hey, we want you, and she saw the audience was segregated, she would go, I'm not going to do that. And then she left, and they just had to eat the cost. <laughs> a star. Yeah, a pretty much a star. She, <laughs> and, and also, a lot of people don't know, is she actually got information. She helped with the French Revolution during World War II. She would get, yeah, I know, I was like, what? Josephine Baker? Yes, she did this. She is actually a Legion of Honor recipient, so she is a decorated war veteran for wow. the French side. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Because it was very easy for her to cross lines and deliver information. Mm -hmm. So when she went to Germany, she got information. When she went anywhere else, she would get all this information and then bring it back to France and let the officials know. So essentially she was a spy. Mm -hmm. That's, and it was so much, it was so easy for her to a do. A spy, a dancer. A, a singer. A she singer. Did, yes, she has been recorded. She does have records. Um, there was a performance, one of her very last performances in the 70s. She had this giant headdress and this woman had to be well into her late 70s. And I'm going, ma'am, how is that on your head? It's huge, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Uh, she also was a huge advocate for adoption. Um, she was unable to have children of her own, so she adopted children from all over the world, and they were affectionately named the Rainbow Tribe. Yeah. And she, yeah, I know, everyone's like, oh, oh. She uh, raised them in this beautiful chateau in France. Uh, she did pass in April 1975, making her an ancestor. But even though she's not physically here, her influences felt all over. I mean, for burlesque dancers, especially black burlesque dancers, she is like the top, the pinnacle. She is the one that we all are like, Mother Josephine, please make sure that I do this dance right and don't fall on my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's so many ways that you can find out information from her. One of her adopted sons actually wrote her autobiography, wrote her biography mm -hmm. for her. After she had passed, he was doing all of the research, found out about her mother, her father, where she, when she finally decided to leave America and live permanently in France. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a movie called The Josephine Baker Story. Uh, mm -hmm. Lynn Whitfield, this amazing actress, she played Josephine Baker. And at the time, people were like, she can't play Josephine Baker. And I'm like, yes, she can. She looks exactly like her. I've never seen that. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an older movie. Probably came out in like the 80s. Okay. But it's still such a good movie. And 
someone that Risa and I know very well as doing a show based on Josephine mm -hmm. Baker. Uh, the actress's name is Tamisha Harris, and she does a touring show about Josephine Baker, oh, and she awesome. plays it as Josephine telling mm -hmm. her own story. So it is the most beautiful it's thing. Very beautiful. They are actually going touring fall 2021. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. and I that show, they have a show. They have shows <laughs> coming up. So yes. And yeah. I saw that show in its inception, mm -hmm. and it is so the beautiful. first one, right? Yes. That's what I saw too. And I hear now it's just gotten bigger and better because they keep adding more but stuff. Yes. Yeah. And they're getting more information about how That's amazing awesome. Josephine Baker is. Mm -hmm. Like things that a lot of us didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I just, I had to celebrate her because like I said, she is like top on my list because mm -hmm. you know, I'm a dancer, she was an actor, uh, so, and, and her actor side, she was actually in the original production of Shuffle Along on Broadway. Mm -hmm. that, was an, that was something that was incredibly groundbreaking in itself, it's because that was an all black cast and that had never been done on Broadway in the 1930s. Oh, wow. So that was huge, and mm -hmm. she was just a backup dancer, that's it. She was just a backup dancer in her teens, just mm -hmm. dancing along. along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to say that. I had to. I had to. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. It had that. to be said. You know what? You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. You're like, Lens is like, it's there. I'm going to pick it up. Yes. It's funny. Take those so. chances. <laughs> So she, yeah, like I said, she's something, she is someone, excuse me, that is absolutely amazing. And it's just, just me talking about her, it's like there's the joy mm -hmm. in her. She was also on the cover of Vogue, which was a huge oh, deal. Yeah. Yeah, this was a huge deal for a black woman to be on the cover of Vogue mm -hmm. in the 30s or the 40s. You're just That's like, amazing. wait, like how did this mm -hmm. happen? Yeah, it was she broke a lot of ground. She made a lot of way for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Something that just, she did things that were unheard of. Like people know that she did her banana dance. Everyone sees it as a top. No, no, no. She did not perform that originally with a top. She did that in America, but she did not do that in France. She did it without in France. And even that, even in France, that was still a huge deal mm -hmm. to see a black woman who was not only an amazing performer but was headlining her own show yeah. that was like she she did something that wasn't to at that time normal that mm -hmm. was not normal but that woman broke so much ground and she is absolutely incredibly amazing mm -hmm. she's yeah she's just fabulous phenomenal <laughs> <laughs> exactly yes yes the answer Our syllables yeah, yeah. And that's why she belongs in her story. That is absolutely <laughs> <laughs> that and so many reasons. <laughs> I know expat performer, right? singer. Oh my gosh, a just spy. the spy, exactly. The I think spy. people don't really know that as much. Like, yeah, I think I had heard about it, but not until I saw the show. Yes, the cabaret that we both saw. When yeah. I was like, wait, oh, this was all real. Yeah. Like. Oh my gosh. That and some another thing a lot of people don't know is that she had a very brief relationship with Frida Kahlo. Look, th mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody knows <laughs> that. No one knows that she had a very brief relationship with Frida Kahlo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh yeah. I learned that because of Frida, because I know about Frida. Yeah. Also because of, of the, the show. show. Yes. And then you link it all together and you're like, that's right. Yeah. Oh and my gosh. gosh. Yeah. When you look at the time that these women were around it was just like and then you think about well of course they would they're in the same circles they're famous but mm -hmm. you know of course that makes sense she just broke so many barriers yes at the time she That's did amazing. Yeah. she did a lot and it was insanely yeah. beautiful that's awesome. What a wonderful first first story. I know. It's Love so it. exciting. <laughs> so yes, we are going to take a break, pay some bills and drink some water and we'll be right back. That's right. <laughs> about our Fem Forum segment, which is talking about 
along with the Stress Awareness Week, I'm bringing us over to self-care and how we do some self-care because you are a goddess. We are all goddesses yes. and we need to treat our bodies as such. <laughs> so I've actually looked into a little app it is called My Life. I don't know if you're familiar with it at all. My Life is a free app that you can download. And with this app, it is a meditation um, app. It's a guided meditation app. And it does self-check-ins, which is great because I stink at that. I, I stink at, like feeling where my body is yeah. like am I tired I don't know so this cool app has like a little quiz every time that you open it up and it says tell me what you're feeling and it mm -hmm. gives you prompts yeah. and then it takes you to another page and it says how much time do you have to meditate mm -hmm. you've got a minute for meditation to 10 minutes of nice. meditation which is really cool especially if you're like I've got one minute and that is it for my day. I am going, 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 going. Yes. So these meditations are guided to help you feel like if you're feeling really stressed mm -hmm. or if you're feeling really like high wired and high strung and you just are zigzagging from mm -hmm. A to B, yeah. it helps you calm you down. So like there are all these different um, segments, I guess, that yeah. you can like That's pick, awesome. which is really cool. I highly suggest looking up uh, my life, the app. For sure. Exactly. Yes. 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 Exactly. Right. exactly. I saw it uh, the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So, and uh, again, it's like a minute to 10 minutes. So, super easy, super fun. That's a great self care. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. And then, um, so also bringing along with the self care, uh, I was actually talking to one of my friends who is an esthetician and Ooh. I was. Thinking about, you know, again, with that stress awareness month, stress awareness week, etc. We tend to get acne. It's yeah. a thing that happens. I don't know if it happens to you, but I know it happens to me. Um, <laughs> so the things to kind of like watch out for, don't over cleanse. Yeah. That's something that can actually be very harmful to your skin. So cleanse twice a day if you have oily skin like me. If you have dry skin once a day is actually pretty good for yeah. you and you can actually cleanse for dry skin with like a milk um it's like a milk based cleanser so okay. be on the lookout for something like that for those with dry skin or those that are trying to prevent wrinkles mm. that milk based cleanser is something really good mm -hmm. but for those with acne my experience <laughs> um try to do something with a five percent salicylic acid base okay. mm -hmm. Or uh, benzoyl peroxide, that's really good too uh, for your skin. Oh, and masking. Yeah. I love favorite. masks. Me too. Masks oh, are my favorite. Such a mask what are your person. favorite masks? I So, my mother in law always gets me like just a random amount <laughs> every Christmas. Yeah. It's so the best I, stuff. It is a great stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've, I've done the rose ones, I've done the gold ones, I've done the um, charcoal ones. Uh, I love the cooling ones. I, I love to just like lay in my bed and just like do the cooling <laughs> one. It gets all super cold. Yeah. I've fallen asleep with so them is that on. Like the sheet mask. The sheet or ones. Okay. I, yeah, she always okay. gets me sheet ones. So I have so many sheet ones. Nice. So I feel like this is like a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Walk in with like a thing on your face, being like asleep like this on the couch. <laughs> they, not the sexiest look. <laughs> But it's self-care. Yeah, so, exactly. That's what exactly. matters. Yeah, no, I, lo I love the sheets. I, I do the clay ones, and I love the ones that you peel off, too, because I'm a visual person. Oh, so my gosh. She has the ones on the nose. Yeah. So gross, but so satisfying. So satisfying. <laughs> so satisfying. So satisfying. What about you? Me? I actually use the, uh, I don't use the sheet masks, because I don't know what it is. I never get it on right, so I look like a cookie that melts. <laughs> So it never, <laughs> I have the nice visual, like cookie that melts, yeah. Yeah. and so it never works. But I actually use a turmeric mask. Um, it's actually from a company called Ancient Cosmetics. And I use that and I put it on and then I look and it's like my skin is like Ooh. glowing like the heavens and I'm like, oh, love yeah, that. I have beautiful skin. So oh, yes. it's obviously working. Yes. yes. Yeah. I also love buy that. turmeric mask. Yes. <laughs> that it is, it's absolutely amazing. Nothing in it, it's everything in it is natural. So that's a huge thing for me too. Yeah. If it's not, if it's something like some weird gunk, but I've heard about the acid and I've, uh, in that and I've done things with that, that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. 
But, you know, sometimes you'll put something on, like, I used to go old school, and does anybody remember Noxzema? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank I you. Mean, so I, I see it. Oh, girl. That's it. I don't <laughs> know if I've used it. I probably have. Yes. <laughs> that was, like, my teenage years. Yes. Yeah. And it, like, tingled on your skin. Oh, yeah. 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 Was it orange? Um, it was, blue. It was, oh, like, it started to Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to yeah, use I that. that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> The orange one is like the clear and whatever. Clean and clear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I use then. Yes, or I, I use that too. Yeah. Yeah. I use them all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I used to use Daxema, yes. and then I went, I don't like the smell anymore. Mm-hmm. So then I moved to the turmeric mask, and oh. I love that. Yeah. 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 I, along the lines of the turmeric mask, have you ever used like, the, there's like an Aztec healing clay. Mask. I've heard about that, but I haven't. You can use it, yeah. so it, it's kind of cool because you get to do a little <laughs> potion. There's like, oh, it, yeah. it comes like in a powder, mm-hmm. and you put the powder in a bowl, and you put water or apple cider vinegar. Okay. Sidebar, I love apple cider vinegar, but I hate the smell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's just a thing, but it it's so cool. So I'm going to try yours, yes. and you try mine. Yes. We're going to see. See what happens. See what happens. I'll try both. On yes, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> see who wins. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Also, I wanted to show you guys a little neat thing that I brought. So Ooh. this this is for wrinkles for those that are interested in like trying to blast away these wrinkles. <laughs> so I actually sell this guy. This is a little Ooh. facial spa. Yeah, it's actually really cool because what this does is it helps tone skin and helps um, get rid of your wrinkles and after one use, like I used to have like this really big, mm-hmm. like when I expression, mm-hmm. like a really big like expression line. I haven't used this guy in a little bit, but once you, you use it like three times a week for mm-hmm. 10 minutes and the results are simple, like actually amazing. This guy is super expensive though. So it's like along the lines of, do I get Botox? Which no, because needles and I don't like needles. <laughs> exactly. Or do I fork out $300? Yeah. I'd rather do that because that <laughs> yes. Botox will be 300 and then 300 and then there's Exactly. Time. And so this honestly, time lasts for forever. Yeah, and I've got this thing because awesome. I do this a lot when I'm yeah. concentrating. Yeah. I use it on my like mom. This, you know? I use it on my mom during Christmas time. And she was like, this is amazing. How much is this? Yeah, I'm going to have like, to talk to you about that later. So, yeah. yeah. And it, so it comes with, it's a microcurrent. So this is how it works. Oh, There's okay. a microcurrent thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> microcurrent waves. Wave? Right? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a wave. And it uses microcurrents to help de wrinkle fire. This is why I call it the wrinkle iron because it de wrinkles oh, your face. Nice. Yeah, and it looks so it's like an iron. Yeah, and it looks like an iron. And you can use it all over your face, or you can just do one little segment mm-hmm. 10 minutes, three times a week. Easy wow, peasy. That's, that's super easy, cool. easy, easy. Yeah, and it comes, uh, it has a conductive cream. So, um, I would show you how to use it, but I've got makeup on my face, so <laughs> just that's imagine not happening. It. Just, just to, I just yeah. had to show you it because it's so it's so cute, and <laughs> it looks like a little wrinkle iron, and it is for your face. So that that's a little neat uh, a neat trick. Also, I don't know if you've got if you're familiar with like correctly washing your face mm-hmm. or things like that, but mm-hmm. like circles. Mm-hmm. Use circles, circular motions. Okay, that's hmm. that's how you. I don't know that's if why I you ever wash your that. wash your yep. face correctly. Well, I'm going in, but it's technically out. I, you go out. Heard? You gotta go out like, and up. Out yeah. and up. Yeah. Out and up. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the earlier you start, the better. Yep. So true. <laughs> because please listen, if you're 18 and watching this, yes. out and up. Yes. Out and up. Out and 18 up. year old lights up. Yes. <laughs> I cannot tell you how important it is. Like, I one of the things that like once I in my late 20s your mother starts to tell you things that you're like, wait, why didn't you tell, tell me this before? before? I was a yes. 18 years old. Like, yes. stuff like that. Like, don't be putting Reach. crap on your face and just being like, yeah. all over. <laughs> you know? Upwards. This yes. way. Yes. Upwards. You know, and, use, you, and spend money on a little bit more products, yeah. you know? Because it does make a huge difference. It really it does. does. Yeah. You don't think that it does. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, no, I can skimp on that. No, you can Not on skincare. Don't do that. Not no. on skincare at all. No. Also, yeah, or your yourself. Soul. Yeah. Which, Which is all great. Yeah. That and, is, and vitamin C. I do vitamin yes. C. Yes. I was just about to talk about yeah. supplements. Vitamin mm-hmm. C, vitamin A, mm-hmm. collagen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Collagen. Yes. Reach. <laughs> that, collagen 
is like the one thing that will help you with those wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, start taking that early. Yeah, you know, for Maybe. sure. Yeah, they for don't. Sure. Yes, nobody tells you these things, and then you're sitting around going, "My face," and, and you're like, "Well, you could have done this. Why mm -hmm. didn't you tell me this in the beginning?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, if I needed to know. <laughs> so. That's what I've got for our Fem Forum today. Love it. And we're going to go into our little musing section. Ooh. So like I said, I actually sell some beauty products on the side with New Skin, oh, cool. which is my little wrinkle iron. So that's kind of what I've got going on nice. in my life right now. <laughs> what do you got going on? Yes. Uh, well, right now, uh, at this moment, I am working really hard on this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, so about a... Uh, I guess about a year ago now, yeah. I did my very first online show um, yeah. because at the time we were not uh, able to perform in public. Yeah. Right. Um, so I moved my performances. I perform under uh, Risa Risque. That's my yes. um, you know burlesque performance uh, name, and I like to say that I am a singer that likes to show off. And, <laughs> you know, I do love to sing more than anything, and so when I wasn't able to sing and show off in person, I started doing online shows. Yeah. Um, and it quickly turned into a once a week show and it was wonderful and it really gave me a lot of confidence to be able to be here and talk to people uh, my hosting and just you know um, being comfortable on camera even actually yeah. really grew a lot so now that it's been an entire year of doing online shows um, now that I'm working with you ladies my next big uh, foray is doing my own little online podcast so yes. I'm really excited I'm gonna pick your brain because you've been doing the podcast yes. game for so long and I'm so excited <laughs> Um, because people have been telling me for years, like, hey, you got a voice, you know? Get on there, talk about some stuff. Yep. And I'm like, nobody wants to hear that, but you'd be surprised. Yes. <laughs> yes. People really surprised. do. I mean, I'll, I'll get on there and just, like, you know, play ukulele sometimes, and, and people will actually listen and watch. And, and I love it. I love talking about, like, hey, here's how to do a C chord. Here's how to do a B yep. chord. You know, it's just silly stuff like that. So, so yeah, right now I'm getting I'm getting deep, deep into, um, you know, very, very soon opening up my own little podcast as well. Nice. So, awesome. yeah. <laughs> And you, well, my lady. Me, I know, right? Um, <laughs> passing it along. I'm passing right? it along over here. <laughs> yes, as Risa mentioned before, I do have a podcast called The Underground with Ms. Brown. I talk about pop culture stuff, nerd stuff, video games. I also do a movie review. I've had this show for like 10 years. Wow. And yeah, and I put out an episode every other week. It's just me and my co-host just going over everything. I love it. It's absolutely fun. Uh, I have also started to dabble into sewing, so I Ooh, make these. Oh I make God, this so awesome. I do make these. I love it. Uh, usually, I'll just put it online. I have it on my podcast on my podcast page for where you can get any of these, and you know, your money goes to you know help me stay out of jail. Um, <laughs> important. <laughs> yes, it's, I should say it feeds me and keeps me out of jail. But yeah, I very much enjoy that. I also, as Risa does, also she does online shows. I haven't started doing online shows with uh, my review because I do have a burlesque review. Ms. Brown's Colors of Burlesque, we did our very first show in 2019 and then did a earlier show right before everything just went boopsies. Mm -hmm. And so we did that, it's great. Um, we are what, one of the only bl completely black shows burlesque reviews in Orlando. Mm -hmm. The only one, and it is, I am so excited, so I'll probably start doing some mom lines. And there we go. Look at that. Yeah, 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 all right, let's go. go. Each other's brain back and forth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be amazing. So that is what I have been doing, and I'm, I love it. It's, it's yeah. great. <laughs> it's a whole new world, too, when you yeah. open yourself up to online shows. Yeah. Uh, and it's weird getting that, like, when you can see people's comments rolling in. Yeah. And you can interact with them in a different way. It's, it's, yeah. it's quite interesting yeah you'll love yeah. it yes it is <laughs> you'll love it and i and i love this yes i'm this so happy is, yes, this is so happy great. that we're here for you guys as well <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right well um i guess that wraps up our, our very yes. first show so like i said i love this i'm so excited yes. thank you ladies for being here with me thank all of you out there i'm so so excited that we cannot wait for uh what this season's gonna gonna bring to you all <laughs> so um with that being said uh, again, I am Risa. I'm Gabby. I'm Liza. <laughs> All right, now go forward, be inspired. Come back next week 
when we talk about our next hearsary, Susan LaFleche. Ooh. 